Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be installing XFCE desktop environment in NetBSD. Okay, let's get started right now. So I'm going to log in as a root user. Um, to do so, all you do is type down SU and then we'll have to enter your password. For me, it's just one, two. Now press on the enter key. Now you're logged in as a root user. And now what you guys need to do is um, type down this command. You want to do PKG in um, and install FXFCE4. Now press on the enter key. Now what you guys want to do is now press Y to say yes, you do want to install it, or you guys can press or no if you just don't want to install its desktop environment. In my case, I do want to install it, so I'm going to type down Y, and this may take a while, so I'm going to pause this video, and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so once I have it installed, what we guys need to do now is that we guys going to have to run this command to configure the XORG and start the desktop for a first time. So all you do right now is do echo, and now you guys can now do xfce4, add in session, now do this, and now go to home, and then after that put down your username, for me it's just John, now go ahead and add this, and now do x in it, rc, now best on the enter key, that should have done it, and now what I think we have to do now is that we're going to have to do in home, um, now we add a new username, dot x in it rc now we're guys gonna have to do home and now we're guys have to enter your um i don't know we don't want to do that we just want to add in the upper one of those we have to do the um dot x in it rc now add in home now add in your username so for example for me it's just john and now just add in dot a session now if that's on the enter key that's done now our guys can now do su and our guys can just put down john okay now our guys can now do start x and hopefully it does boot up to xfce4 and it does seem like it was able to be installed so this is xfce4 running on um running on NetBSD, so you guys can go ahead and play around with this desktop environment. They have quite a lot in there, you guys can go to about the XFCE desktop environment, copyright, so you guys can read through all that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm no longer left with this um, very basic and boring desktop environment. Now I've got um, XFCE um, running on um, running on NetBSD. So let me go ahead and open up the, to the terminal, let me run your fetch. Um, right um that's you if i now run neil fetch seems like i've got a weird error but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and reset the system um just to see if it will actually boot me up back to um xfce4 um <laughs> let me go ahead and boot normally let me log in as my root user, my spy username. So my username is John. Let me tap down my password. If I now do start X, it should now be able to load me up to the F XFCE desktop environment. Okay, cool. So this is working, I do believe. Um, we don't have a, um, a web browser, so that does need to be installed. But we have some applications pre-installed. For example, we've got display, which allows us to change the display settings. Um, we also got um, settings, which is very good. We've got accessories. we got system, which includes the XFCE terminal. We also got Thunder file manager, so we can browse through um, desktop like so. So that is pretty cool. And this is the um, file system. <laughs> um, okay. This is just me. I have just installed XFCE4 in NetBSD. I'm going to go ahead and do a system update. Um, to do so, let me log in as root. Um, let me do pkg in update, and now that should update the system, right? Segment fault, um, core dumped, pkg in update. Okay, this is a bit weird. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, thanks so much for watching this video. It seems like me and Sonic F X F C E um, 4 might have... Um, done something to the system so i may need to find no solution to fix it 
But um, yeah, this was just me installing um, XFCE4 in NetBSD and having some fun with it. Um, but obviously I did run into a problem um, when it comes to doing some commands. For example, if I try to run NeoFetch, it does not work with NeoFetch. And whenever I did try to update the system, I get a segmentation fault. Um, so I can't update the system or install some packages. So I do assume that this might be caused by the, um, by the installation of XFCE4. So I might have broke something, but I'm going to try and find a solution on trying to fix it. Then I will make a update video on it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.